Hey guys, we're back for another video, and welcome to Minecraft Bed Wars. Um, this is another commentary video. I forgot how to do my old outro, or intro. Jeez, I can't speak today. Um, so yeah, I'm doing the live commentary thing again. Uh, the last time I did this was back in August of 2018. Those videos have been lasting me freaking forever, dude. <laughs> but anyway, I'm back for some more random life topics to talk about. It's pretty exciting. And hopefully I won't, like, look like a literal mental patient with the amount of times I just completely, like, forget what I was talking about because of Bedwars shenanigans. So today, I would like to talk about my experience with Soylent. So, there's a lot of articles online that talk about people's experiences with Soylent. There's a few big ones. Uh, one comes from a guy that, you know, does a lot of running, and he's like, oh, I survived on Soylent for a long time. I had to have peanut butter to supplement the diet. Overall, he said it was good, but not for everybody. But, um, and then there's other ones that say it's a complete scam. There's some people that say they live on this stuff. I know there's one story talking about a dude that, like, bought several hundred dollars worth of... Uh, strawberry flavored soil and, and didn't like it and he was stuck with it for like months because he's like a college kid and he like hates the taste so i'm gonna give my personal account with the stuff so for those of you that don't know what soil is it is a meal replacement drink so it literally is what the name says it replaces meals like you can live on nothing but soil if you wanted and you would be theoretically fine uh health wise so I thought that was a great thing for me because, you know, I'm a college kid. I'm lazy. I can't prepare food. I have to, you know, on my own terms, I have to just... Well, no, I just got to keep doing what I'm doing. Homework and all that. So it'd be a good idea to have this soil and thing so that I can focus on my work. Not have to prepare food. Not have to do dishes. Also, nope. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I decided to try soil and about... 2017 ish and i started with the bottled soylent and overall honestly my experience was pretty good with it the thing is about the soylent right i think you'll hear from just about anybody whether or not it's powdered or uh pre-packaged it tastes like paint uh it basically tastes like paint or like uh drywall it's not a pleasant taste but you do get used to it after a while and I wouldn't say that you would enjoy it, but it's something that you would tolerate relatively easily. That being said, uh, it took me not even a week to get used to the uh, bottled soil, and it was extremely convenient. I would just take a bottle out of the fridge, chug it, throw it out, and then just be on my way. And I think that's the way soil was intended. Um, it's That's what the vision of the company is, right? College kid doesn't have time to do any food prep drinks the the food <laughs> drinks the food and then gets back to what he was doing and i loved it problem is it's expensive so powdered soylent if you were to drink the recommended amount which i think is something like what is it four bottles a day no it's five a day i think for a 2000 calorie diet yeah you need to drink five a day which is unrealistic if you want to have nothing but soylent so i decided to use it as a supplement that it would be something that I have in addition to food. And for that purpose, it worked great. I used it for breakfasts. Uh, I got over the taste relatively quickly. I didn't really uh, miss food because I still had it for, you know, lunch and dinner. Sometimes I would have, oh. Sometimes I would have the Soylent for um, lunch or dinner. Like some days I did have it for two meals just because, you know, I didn't have time. Oh, the guy that broke my bed just lost it. <laughs> nice anyway yeah so first experience was good but it was expensive so i limited my intake quite a bit and then fast forward um i had a i had what was it summer break yeah i had summer break took a break from the soil lint because you know i was getting home cooked meals again because i was home and then i went back to school and i decided to save some money and get the powdered form of soil lint. This is a bit more of an issue because it comes in bags. You have to use a protein powder scoop, put it in a, um, you know, you have to put it in a shaker bottle or blend it. But, you know, I went for the easy option. So I put it in a shaker bottle, shook it up with some water, and then chugged it down again. A uh, little did I know that the powdered form of Soylent actually tastes very different 
from the pre-bottled stuff. And it tastes a lot worse. Uh, yeah, I do not like the powdered Soylent at all. It's the... <sighs> the bottled stuff was tolerable for sure. Okay, this guy's going to be a problem. Hello! No. No. <laughs> Uh, this guy thinks he's all that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So I struggled with it, taste-wise. Took me a bit longer to get used to it. And the other thing is that the powdered one, its shelf life is less than a day, basically. I mean, it's probably safe to drink like a day or so after you mix it, but you really don't want to do it. So, like, for example, I'd be... Okay. For example, I would be... I would mix a Soylent, and then I would not be hungry, so I wouldn't drink it. And then I wait two hours... And then I go to drink it, and it already smells like fermented, like rotten milk or something. And it was almost unbearable. And, oh. I, if it was already bad to begin with, but then once it, you know, had an hour to ferment, it got even worse. So, I mean, even though the price is cheaper, I don't think it justifies how much worse it tastes. And the other thing, right? It's not even convenient anymore when it's powdered form. This guy needs to... This guy needs to chill out, man. Nope. <laughs> but the other thing, you have to clean the shaker bottle. And I know it doesn't sound like that much work, but every time you have a meal, you have to go to the sink, get a sponge, and scrub out the inside of the shaker bottle, which, might I add, is quite annoying to do, because there's, like, there's little crevices where you can't get to, and there's powder stuck in it, and it's, it's just a whole big thing. And it's annoying. So there would be times that I find myself uh, waiting a day or two before I clean the thing, because I'm lazy. And since it's dirty and not clean, I don't drink more Soylent because I'd have to clean the bottle first. So, <laughs> I find myself in the situation that the dude was with the uh, strawberry-flavored Soylent. He just couldn't drink it all because he didn't like it and it was there was so much of it. So now, here I am with two boxes of bags of original Soylent, powdered form, and I'm struggling to drink it all because I'm too lazy to, um, you know, clean out the shaker bottle. And it tastes pretty bad. And there's like a really, really, really limited short shelf life once it gets hydrated. So, honestly, if price wasn't a factor, I would totally live on bottled Soylent. 100%. I would do it. I would do that like one month experiment to live on the Soylent or whatever. But it gets really, really pricey. Like, if I were to simplify the price to $2.50... And multiply that by 5. That's $12.50 per day. Times 28. $350 just to stay alive for a month. That is expensive. Uh, whereas the powdered form, I think, is like $1.60? No, it's like $1.70 if you have all the discounts in mind. So, I don't know. My verdict here... I guess if any of you guys are going to try the Soylent thing, I mean, it's great for college kids that are too lazy to prepare food or don't have any way to cook things. All you need, like, I would 100% recommend the bottled Soylent. Also, it turns out the formula is different. I don't know if I said that, but they do taste different for one thing. I think I said that, but the formula literally is different, and they don't mention that, like, anywhere. I guess they say formula V whatever, but you wouldn't think it tastes that much different different but it really makes a big difference so anyway um yeah I, I guess if i get the money to spend 350 dollars on food a month at the cost of literally not preparing meals at all then i would probably do it and you know as a college kid with all this like really expensive food tempting me like 24 7 it might be a good idea to go for it anyway because binge food is extremely tempting like spending eight bucks for a quesadilla on campus i mean if i'm doing that like two three times a week i might as well just get the soylent so that i don't waste even more money 
But yeah, it's completely different when you're making your own meals. Like, it's one thing if you're just eating at home and you don't have to pay anything. Or even if you do have to pay, but someone else makes it for you. I don't know. I think once I run out of the powdered form, I'm actually going to start buying the, um, the bottled Soylent again. Simply because I did enjoy it to an extent, you know? It, it was pretty tolerable, actually. I would say it's beyond tolerable. I mean, it had the texture of a milkshake, which is pretty good, honestly. There were no chunks, obviously. And, yeah, just just tasted like... Just imagine all the bad things about Soylent get multiplied by, like, five when it's the powdered form. And all the... And it's, like, not that bad to begin with, with the powdered. Which is basically the point I'm trying to make. But, I mean, if you think about it, right, with preparing food... I would say it takes a minimum of, like, 20 minutes to prepare food. If you're, like, a normal person. It would take a minimum. So, like, you know, let's say I'm making some spaghetti. Uh, <laughs> and it would take me, like, you know, 8 minutes to boil the water. Another 8 minutes to cook the pasta. And then maybe a, maybe 5 minutes, right, to cook up the cheese and melt it all together and serve it in a bowl then it would take me probably another 20 minutes 10 to 20 minutes to eat the bowl of pasta unless i'm like wolfing it down like an animal but like, you know whereas with the soylent to get i don't know if you're supposed to have five of them a day i think you could get away with four to be completely honest with you uh 1600 calories in a day is pretty good if you're not really active so i would say that would still work out um so I would say eating the spaghetti would take you like, I mean, making it would be about 23, 25 minutes. It would take you almost 40 minutes just to consume one meal. Of course, for breakfast, you can have a bagel, which has like a minute and a half or like two minutes. So yeah, I would say an average, you'd spend like maybe an hour to three hours a day, an hour to two hours a day consuming food. Whereas if you were to have the bottled Soylent, then you would spend maximum a few minutes per meal also i don't know what this yellow guy wants from me but all right <laughs> but it yeah <laughs> you would not be spending a lot of time at all and of course you can multitask while you're chugging the stuff down what is this guy's deal oh my goodness all right let's get uh that that what is up with you you're a scary person at least I have Prot 2. Ah, what is he doing? What are you doing? Anyway, yeah. I would say to chug one of those bottles, it would take me... I could chug it in 30 seconds if I tried. And there is a little thing, though. You can start to feel nauseous if you're not careful. <laughs> I broke the block from under him. It's perfect. Yeah, this guy is scary. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I would say I'd, I'd recommend you give it a shot. The bottled stuff. My roommates couldn't stand it, by the way. I'm a firm believer in the stuff, so like, you know, maybe there's some bias there. But I, you know, got some shot glasses and poured out the bottled Soylent to my roommates and two of them couldn't even get it down i think they're just being dramatic to be completely honest with you um <laughs> yeah i don't think it's that bad i personally i almost liked it like there was a part of me that wanted to have more soylent after i spent an extended period of time away from it so that's a thing what are you doing wait <laughs> I haven't tried going full Soylent, though. I really want to. It's just a lot of money to do that for a month. As I said, it's like almost $400. Um. No. <laughs> I don't know what that guy's deal was, but no. And I just instant drank a potion. That was interesting. Oh, you little crap. Of course, you're already at my freaking base. No! Of 
course, his connection's freaking giving him such an advantage right now with the teleporting all over the place. Or just not taking proper knockback, I think is a better term for it. That guy in white just distracted me. So anyway, oh yeah, there is a point I was going for with the whole time spent thing. If you're under the belief that time is money, then 350 bucks a month to, you know, drink, or saving, it's $350 to buy it. You're saving about two hours max a day. Let's just say for argument's sake, you're saving two hours per day in food prep and eating. <laughs> Savage. Oh, this guy's screwed. And dead. There we go. <laughs> this guy was rude. But anyway, uh, yeah, so if the time is money, then. <laughs> Got him. Got him. I can't speak. <laughs> but the whole time is money argument, right? Two hours a day for 28 days. Uh, 28 times. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Doing some quick math here. Getting out the calculator. Okay. And then minimum wage. Let's say for argument's sake, $13. I don't know. Times 13. Yeah. So if you were working during that time and making $13 an hour at the two hours per day you saved, you would make $728. So, um, yeah, that, that is my official recommendation of bottled soylent then. It might cost you a lot, but if you make a good point to be working during that time, um, then you could potentially make an extra 400 bucks a month while saving time and being healthy because it's a perfect balance of nutrition and all that good stuff. So I'd officially recommend bottled don't get the freaking powder because it's just going to sit in your room for a long time because you're going to be too lazy to clean the shaker bottle and you might as well just be cooking food anyway well anyway that's it so um yeah if you'd like to join my discord server where i talk about weird stuff like this then make sure to check the pinned comment down below it is the 30 virus botnet and there's a lot of people that have been saying that the botnet is like a bad thing because botnets are viruses and it's a discord server all right it's just it's just a fancy name for my discord because you know my whole theme is computers and hacking and stuff i don't hack at bedwars though all right let's not get that started anyway that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later